out from Z Fly right here. Here we go, game one. You know what, Terry's still very, very underdeveloped in terms of like his meta. I feel like a lot of people just kind of like don't know what Terry can do. So it'll be interesting to see how you know Z Fly can like kind of use that unfamiliarity to his advantage against uh Sweet Tea. Go, opening up with a nice Pokemon Trainer combo. And yet again, that's the thing about Squirrels. Like, if you air dodge out of his combos, you can very much follow up with a, with another grab. So it's almost like a, a frame trap situation. But going to switch to Ivysaur after being bodied with a Squirrel there for a little bit. And Crack Shoot just jumps right over that grab, gets a dash attack, not going to be enough to kill. And yet again, just, I love how he uses that Crack Shoot just to kind of like hit above the ledge. You know, if it whiffs, then it's very much spaced away so that it won't kill him, or that like, he won't be uh, able to get punished for it. Here we go, another Razor Leaf. And yet again, I feel like Sweet Pea is just like, okay, you know what, I've been getting kind of bopped for like approaching recklessly against Terry, so let me just play the camping game against him. And try to go for the grab after the whiff, uh, or after the shield did uh, side beat, but you know what, not gonna get spaced properly for it. And again, now Sweet Tea has to worry about any time he presses a button because he can just come in with the go power right there. Oh, no, oh my God, that's so unfortunate. Yeah, again, you know, I feel like if they wanted to give Terry a, a decent recovery, they would have at least the side fees, you know, step the ledge. But because they don't, it just put him in a horrible position. I and mean, he got ended up getting stage spiked. Oh, Sweet Tea looking to get that edge guard, but not going to find it. Gets sniped out by the side B right there. And yet again, you know what, not going to be able to get any of his combos, but you know what, he's got to be able to watch out for those power waves, just uh, taking a lot of the center ground control. Pulls the trigger on the up B a little bit early there, and you know what, gets punished for it. But manages to crack shoot over the Vine Whip. Here we go, gets a back air into the up B. Not going to be Sweet Sauce, so not going to be able to kill. And yet again, the neutral B will catch the roll right there. It does a nice percentage, but now he has go, and you know what? Yet again, it could be very similar to stock one, where he just lets it loose like that, and not going to be able to get the follow-up off of the down air. And yet again, Sweet Tea, you know, being a little bit more shield happy now, now that uh, pretty much that's the only thing that beats the, the, the go moves. And yet again, try going for it again, but Sweet Tea not falling for it. We go yet again. Z Fly trying to go for a Hail Mary side B right or or down smash, but you know what? The side B manages to pick off Squirtle right there. You know, Squirtle being super light means that he dies super early off the top. Here we go. No, it didn't take too much percent. You know, Charizard's flamethrower is not the same category as Bowser's, so you only probably maybe like 10 to 15 percent instead of the 30 that Bowser can usually dish out. And again, now we're seeing Sweet Tea playing a little bit defensive with the Charizard, but gets zoned out with the side B right there. And yet again, you can't cross up Terry. Going back to the Squirtle, you know. And yet again, here's the Ivysaur. Going for the up air, that will be enough to take him out. All right, you know, Sweet Tea. Definitely bringing it a little bit close right there, but you know what, Z-Fly, that's why I said earlier, you know, don't count Z-Fly out just yet. Are we gonna get Rafi on the mic? Oh. Uh, gonna have fellow CG member Rafi, you know, commentate his boy. We're definitely having commentator bias for this. Oh though. yeah, <laughs> I mean, yeah. Dude, Sweet Tea pulling out the Terry himself, you know? Oh, we should fix that cable, it's like, Oh yeah. yeah it's only mine. I'll, I'll, I'll get off the All right. But yet again, I mean, I know Sweet Tea does have a Terry, so it'll be interesting to see how well he does in the Ditto. And yet again, Rafi just kind of uh, settling things off stream right here, trying to get things untangled. But while that is going on, no Sweet Tea, definitely a little bit behind in the matchup. You know, not going to get as well comforted in the matchup. Alright. 
So yet again, I, need, I know Sweetie does have a Terry, but I don't feel like he's put enough time to it as Z-Fi has. So how do you feel about this matchup? I actually feel like Sweetie is probably going to do pretty well. He, he's one of the players that tends to do really well with new characters. Like, I don't know if you remember that Wednesday Night Fight where Mr. D came. Right. He took this game fight with Joker, so that was pretty amazing. His uh, Pokemon trainer, he's trying to play Hero and Ragged, so it's not unlike him to play... Yeah. Terry just did a I mean, I know Sweet Tea is definitely known as like the DLC like master, you know, pretty yeah. much. And, and that was the case in even in four. Like he picked up Bayonetta, so yet again, it's gonna be interesting to see how he can edge guard Z Fly and that down air will do the job. Yeah, I feel like Terry is uh, it's like a bad matchup for Terry because once you get a, once one of them gets put off stage, you can edge guard it pretty hard. Right. Like spikes like that. It's kind of like a, a less polarizing map, ditto. Oh, Mac destroyed Oh yeah, honestly, the Mac Ditto is one of the most cancer things. That's all you have to do is down touch the legend, they're dead. I see, all right. Old Sweet Tea now at 88. This is actually pretty close. All right. I would like to see uh, a game three. Like yeah. All right. I mean, they both have Go Juice, so yet again, all it takes is one misplay, and yet again, Z Fly does find the first kill right there. Oh nice my dash god. Attack, putting him off stage. Off stage, you can't really use the, the go gauge, right? I mean, you could. I don't think you can, actually, because I don't think you'd be able to do the, the double input. Uh, yeah. the double like All right. Ooh, the taunts coming out from Sweet Tea. The taunts. I mean, oh. he, he's been doing that since game one with P-Trainer, oh, so. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if you know Sweet Tea as good as I do, when he plays online, he's the most toxic person, so. Oh, my <laughs> a little God. Bad, a little bit of that's coming out. I mean, I know, I know Sweet Tea, like, when he's in the mood, like, he definitely can feel himself in the match. Right now, Z-Fly like putting in some good work with those combos. Right. Oh, get, oh, try getting the hard punish on it, but unfortunately that forward smash, although strong, it's really laggy. Yeah, right now he's got to take advantage of this because Sweet D now has the Go Gauge. And right. Go SDI, okay. I mean, but Go Gauge is only as good as how well you're able to hold on to it without dying. And yet again, I feel like at 73%, this is definitely kill percent if he gets like one forward tail into uh, Muster Wolf. And all that rage, exactly. All right. But you know what, 172, Terry is heavy, but you know what, Terry can also kill just as easily. Seems like can't kill him. No. Oh, oh he's no. Dead. no. No, he's, he's not. Dead. Oh, yeah, again, wow. that's what I was talking about. Terry is heavy. That's true, he is very heavy. Oh, I know he's heavier than uh, Ridley as well. Wait. I mean, that's not so much that Ter Terry's heavy, it's more so like Ridley's light, but but that should be it. There we go. Yep. Well, jab, jab, bust the wolf. Three here. Yep. Stay for, for, the, for the rest of the set? Yeah, stay for the rest of the set. Got it. All right. Sounds good. And again, I, Rafi and I are both in singles, so we do have our single bracket matches to take care of. But I can't leave my, my homeboy Z-Fly on the mic alone. You can't, man. You know, we can't leave the homeboy yeah. Sweet Tea on the match alone. You know, right. we gotta we got to be commentating. And you know what? You were talking about him picking up all the DLC characters, and here comes... Not the most recent character, but the one before him. It is Banjo and Kazooie on the mic. Banjo's really good, and Banjo is known for being able to edge guard pretty well. And all the jumps, all the mix-ups. Definitely like edge guarding with the, the side B too. I feel like the best Banjos are able to you know put you in a position where you like you don't want to air dodge, and then they just hit you with the Wonder Wing. Yeah, that Wonder Wing is really good. I think it's gonna be very good. I, this, you know, um, what's that wolf? Buster Wolf? Buster Wolf? You know, Buster Wolf piece, uh, no, because Buster Wolf is not a command rush. Got it, okay. So it, it's more like a hit from that, like you hit it and then it goes into a rush. I see. All right, well, let's see if Z Fly can put in work with a character that's been out uh, less long than uh, Sweetie's character. Yeah, right. I wonder, how much how much time has Z Fly put into this character? As of right now, it doesn't look too bad. I mean, honestly, when I talked to Z Fly earlier, though, he said the second that Terry came out, like, he's going to make Terry. I see. Okay, so he was set on it since day right. one. Well, right now he's got to put in a lot more percent if he's going to be winning this. But Go is, Go is on. Yeah. And if he gets a, a good conversion here, he can get a stock really early. And yet again, but the down smash will cover his retreat to the ledge right there. Not going to be able to get there in time. Yeah. Oh, well, well, you know what the, the Terry reminds me of? He reminds me of uh, Lucario when he doesn't have Rage, when he doesn't have uh, Aura, and then when he gets to high percent, he has Aura. All right. There we, there we go. Forward smash, not going to be quite enough, but you know what? Can he get the edge guard? No, because Sweet Tea does cover it really well with the, the egg, but you know what? He tries to roll in, and you can't roll in against any of the uh, like OCG FGC characters, you know? Yeah, because they, they automatically turn around, like, what can I do? 
can't really do much. You're trying to cross up the person. You can't get in their head because their character's safety. And down smash will take out the stock. You know, 62%. Definitely not a bad percent for Terry, just because, you know, if he gets a little bit more percent, then he yeah. can get Go Gage again. I mean, I think it's like one more conversion, he, gets, he can get this whole thing right back to you. You know, if he can just get like another like 60% on to Sweet Tea, he can definitely like bring this back. Yeah, well, he's got the Gage again. He's got to put in a lot of work this time, though. He didn't, you, he didn't utilize it as well last start, right? Died too early. Oh, oh right. saving his double jump. You know what? Going up a little bit too high with the the up right there, getting hit. But you know it's not going to be getting punished too hard for that. Oh, nice little combo. He's got Sweet Tea at 81 percent now. Oh no! But no, the grenade actually worked against Sweet Tea's favor right there. But no, it still manages to get the kill off. The of fair off of it. Yeah. yeah. I think it kind of makes up team play as well. You know, he's like, oh shoot, you got hit by your own move. Like, right. He didn't expect that. Yeah. So he was a little bit late on the punish, and you know, Z Sweet Tea was able to, you know, get a fair and sneak it in. Ah, oh, yeah, Z Play is kind of just pressing, pressing attacks now. Like, they're all with you, but here we go. We got one confirmed jab to side B, right? That's down B. Down B, too. Right? I don't know Terry at all. <laughs> a nice nair. Doesn't go jump. Able to make it back. No, I love the use of crack right there to cover the air dodge. Yeah, it has two, I think it's two hitboxes. Yeah. And it lasts forever, so it's pretty good at catching air dodges, land, landing options. It's also really good at uh, covering people on the platform, too, but you know what? He used his double jump, and that, oh, that's, that's it. it. Yeah. That's that, it. that down tilt is so good. Oh, yeah, especially against characters that can't snap ledge. Mm -hmm. But with that, I believe we both have matches that we need to head off to. All right, guys.